before going to know how to find thd in matlab you should know what is thd that is nothing but total harmonic distortion and what it defines total harmonic distortion is the measure of the deviation of voltage or current wave form from ideal sinusoidal shape for example if you take the output of inverter it is in the form of square wave right not in sinusoidal nature but we need like exactly ac because inverter can convert the dc to ac that's why we need a output is like ac but inverter can only give like square wave form right so the remaining part right so this is the remaining part this is the unwanted part from the sine wave this is the deviation of our exact sine wave so if you eliminate this then you can able to get the pure sine wave so now this is what thd exactly mean now you can see the definition then it will be clear so total harmonic distortion is the measure of deviation of voltage or current wave form from ideal sinusoidal shape okay so if you want exactly ac what output you are getting here you are getting the square wave right so remaining part will be the harmonic content that is the what it is known as whether it is current wave form or it is voltage wave form whatever it may be the deviation of the wave form from its ideal condition that is the thd so it will find the total wave form deviation okay so like this you can take other wave form for example i am taking the multi level inverter output it will be like this right so same compare this with our sinusoidal wave form and see the distortion here only lesser content you are having okay only lesser harmonic you are get because whenever number of levels increase then the thd will obviously decrease right so this is for multi level inverter output so when compare to this normal inverter output so the multi level inverter having the lesser harmonic content lesser thd okay so that is the main reason to find the thd to know the thd of the output wave form so it will quantify the quality of the sinusoidal nature at the output so based on the thd percentage we can able to tell the quality of the output that is the main reason to find the thd and this thd will be measured in the fourier analysis and thd will be mathematically expressed as percentage of thd remember thd will be always measured in percentage only okay so thd equal to 100 into root of summation of v n square when n is not equal to 1 that divided by v1 this is the mathematical formula for finding the thd where this v n is nothing but rms voltage of nth harmonic and this v1 is nothing but rms voltage of fundamental frequency component okay so just remember finding the thd is very important in academic projects or any further projects because it will tell you the quality of the output and it will be crucial for maintaining and enhancing power quality stability and don't panic about this formula we don't use this formula in matlab to find the thd you just need to follow two steps then you can able to get the how much thd in your waveform okay now let's see how to find this thd in matlab just open matlab and here i am taking the two converters to find the thd okay so first one is half bridge generator and second one is full bridge generator right so just remember the basic we should find the thd for ac waveforms only not dc for dc it is having the ripple content okay so if you want to know the thd if you want to find the thd just go for the ac waveform what is the meaning of inverter it can convert the dc to pulsating ac right so input is dc and output is ac so that's why we need to find the thd in output waveforms only that's why at the output of half wave rectifier and at the output of the full wave rectifier we are taking the scopes to know and to determine the thd okay first of all go with half bridge generator this is the half bridge generator here you can measure the output current in this scope and the output voltage in below scope okay so to find the thd of current waveform or voltage waveform first of all you need to go to that scope so click on that scope and here there is a configuration properties option so click on this configuration properties option and now click on logging so last option click on logging and here you can able to click on the log data to workspace okay and give the name as current because it is current waveform right just click on ok that's it okay now to measure the thd of this output current just run the simulation it is ready 
now just click on the scope this is the output waveform of your half wave rectifier current okay so it is having the so much harmonics let's see in fft analysis and now to find the thd of that waveform go to power gui block click on tools and here fft analysis click on fft analysis fft is nothing but fast fourier transmission analysis to find the thd we use this analysis right so click on this one so here you can able to take the current so i will give the name as current right that's why this variable name should be current only if the current is not coming then you can click on it and you can change the whatever you put in that okay so now just click on the display so here it will be tell you the how much THD will be there? There it will be 7.29 percent total harmonic content it is having from where from 0 0.07 to 0 0.01. Okay, that is the two cycles we are taking. So here in the FFT settings, so if you give that starting time at that time only it will come. Okay, so for example if you give the zero from zero it will start. Okay, you can see clearly here from zero it will start right. So it will tell you the first two cycles THD. Okay, so if you want only one cycle just put number of cycles as one it will tell you for only one cycle okay so fundamental frequency 60 i'm taking if you want 50 you can take the 50 also it will be changed according to frequency and all okay these are the some settings you need to know that's it this is how we can able to find the thd and just close it and below you can see the full bridge and water so same like that for finding the full bridge and water thd go to current waveform scope and click on the configuration properties go to logging and here click on log data to workspace and name it as current full bridge rate that's why current full i am take you can take any name that is your wish no issue so click on ok close and again run your simulation now to see the thd of this waveform go to power gui tools fft analysis and here change this name as click on that name and change it to current full so this is the name we are giving for full bridge inverter right so now just click on the display so you are getting the thd for full bridge inverter okay so this is how we should calculate the THD using FFT analysis okay so in above there is so many options you can able to edit the FFT window also so click on edit you can choose any option and here you can able to edit the FFT window like what you require you can change the X label name Y label name and all as per your requirement so this is how FFT analysis work follow the same process to find the THD in any MATLAB simulation okay same thing first of all you need to go to the waveform from which one you need to find out thd just go to that scope settings and log that waveform into workspace again run your simulation go to power gui do fft analysis you will get your thd okay lesser thd means you have the more efficient waveform higher thd means you are having the low efficient waveform okay that's why finding the thd is crucial for any project to find out the efficiency and losses in your